Tiny Beautiful Things 8 episodes worked as a build-up to an emotional conclusion that was the ideal resolution to Claire's difficulties throughout the season. Liz Tigelar, who is the showrunner of Tiny Fires Everywhere Season 1 and has a solid track record with the streaming service, adapted Tiny Beautiful Things for Hulu. The primary character of Small Beautiful Things, Claire, was inspired by a collection of essays written by Cheryl Strayed. When Claire starts writing an anonymous advice column called Dear Sugar, she is compelled to reflect on her life and past suffering. As Claire works to organize her chaotic life and appropriately offer advice in her Dear Sugar column, Tiny Beautiful Things focuses on her history and present. The young Claire is portrayed by Sarah Pigeon, who made her breakthrough in 2020's The Wilds, while Catherine Hahn, who will also be appearing in the planned Agatha Harkness spin-off, plays Claire in the present day. After making a choice without their approval, Claire is currently striving to mend her marriage and her bond with her daughter. The Tiny Beautiful Things climax is when everything comes to a head. Do Claire and Danny get a divorce in Tiny Beautiful Things? Danny and Claire in Tiny Beautiful Things by Quentin Player and Catherine Hahn. Claire and her husband Danny spend time in couples therapy discussing all that has gone wrong in their marriage and attempting to figure out how to maybe mend it. Sadly, their issues extend far beyond the choice Claire made to donate their daughter's college fund to her brother without Danny's knowledge, to the point where they appear insurmountable. In the seventh episode of Tiny Beautiful Things, Claire is finally open with Danny and prepared to take the steps she believes are necessary to preserve their relationship and help her feel more alive. Danny, who is ironically motivated by Dear Sugar, says he agrees and wants to follow Claire's lead. The possibility of them divorcing is mentioned in the Tiny Beautiful Things conclusion, but Danny isn't really mentioned. Although Claire is only inspired by Strayed and Tiny Beautiful Things isn't totally autobiographical, Strayed and her spouse did not divorce in real life. Han portrays a made-up character in Claire, but Reese Witherspoon and Laura Dern, who are executive producers on Small Wonderful Things, previously portrayed Strayed in the movie Wild. In the Tiny Beautiful Things epilogue, Danny is last seen alone at their therapist's office, in need of someone to talk to. It is unclear whether they will divorce, but it is obvious that no matter what, they will be well. Claire can also mend her relationship with her daughter Ray, which is the one that counts most. Why Claire gave Lucas the money in Tiny Beautiful Things. Katie Hahn tans and Crawford as Ray in Tiny Beautiful Things and tans and Crawford as Claire. The big turning point in Small Beautiful Things was when Claire gave her brother Lucas money from Ray's college fund to save their mother's house, but it's not apparent how Lucas ever found out about the money until the conclusion. While not knowing that he would ask Claire for it, Ray admits that she had discussed her money to Lucas and had been privately carrying the shame of doing so. The property is significant to Claire, as viewers quickly discover, but the Small Beautiful Things epilogue also reveals more about why. Claire is most desperate when it comes to Frankie's home. After learning that her father, Jean, who was gone for the majority of their lives, had been the one to pay back Claire the $15,000 Lucas had borrowed, she first gave him the cash before traveling to the house in the Tiny Beautiful Things finale to get her mother's ashes. When Claire learns that her father purchased the home from Lucas, she is furious. Frankie had created it to get away from Jean. Claire's mother was unable to leave anything behind other than the house because she was a poor child. The primary reason Claire tried all in her power to keep it was because it is the last tangible item she has of Frankie because her ashes are interred there. Giving Lucas the cash without first consulting Ray and Danny was wrong, but in the Tiny Beautiful Things finale, it becomes more acceptable. In Tiny Beautiful Things, Claire's resolution with her mother gives her closure. Frankie in Tiny Beautiful Things, played by Merritt Weber. Claire is plagued by her mother's memory throughout Tiny Beautiful Things. Although Claire has numerous regrets, the conclusion reveals that her biggest regret is not being with her mother when she passed away. She can't forgive herself until the very last scene of the series, when she imagines her mother being there with her for the very last time. It's time. Frankie informs Claire in her vision, referring to both her impending death and the moment when Claire needs to let go of her suffering and remorse. Claire is now able to do so, providing her the closure she's been seeking but has never been able to achieve. How Dear Sugar showed Claire's growth in Tiny Beautiful Things Claire is hesitant to start writing for Dear Sugar at the beginning of Small Beautiful Things because she feels unqualified to give advice while her own life is in such disarray. Nevertheless, as the episodes continued, she became better at giving the people who wrote to her sound advice. To achieve this, she had to reflect on instances in her life when she would have benefited from some advice. This forced her to mature and recognize her true calling and the reason she was the ideal candidate for Dear Sugar in the first place. Because of how unqualified she felt, Claire had kept Dear Sugar a secret from everyone in her life. In episode 7 of Small Beautiful Things, Claire experienced for the first time how her column was benefiting readers and realized that people were listening to her column in the first place due to her candor and failings. Claire was able to feel proud of her work for the first time in a long time, and it also made her realize that everyone has flaws and that her actual goal is to use the lessons she has learned from the past to assist others, not make more mistakes. The real meaning of Tiny Beautiful Things ending a lack of love was never one of the things that Claire was dealing with in Tiny Beautiful Things. Despite all the difficulties she was facing, the mistakes she had done, her regrets, and the issues she didn't know how to solve. 
Instead, she struggled with realizing her own worth and expressing her affection for the people in her life. Her mother's final word to her was love, which was appropriate. Claire was reminded of the word strength in the tiny beautiful things conclusion, especially when it comes to mending, starting over, and evolving. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.